EFF leader Julius Malema is addressing supporters at the Israeli embassy. Let's cross live to that. Today, and do it freely without soldiers carrying guns, without police carrying guns, without us being intimidated. It's because the people of the world stood with us during difficult times. It was the people of Nigeria who took their money from their salaries and donated to liberation movement for us to get our freedom. It was the anti-apartheid movement in America, in UK, in many other parts of the world where the world stood in solidarity with us and said, we will not sit down and watch the African apartheid regime killing our people in South Africa. That's why we have our freedom today. We are here to extend the same favor to the children of Palestine. The war in Palestine is not a holy war, it's an evil war. Because even here, the apartheid African regime used to say they are the chosen ones, used to say they are children of God and we are animals. So when the Minister of Defense of Israel calls Palestinians animals, we know what he means because we were called animals ourselves here in South Africa by those who were claiming they were sent by God. There is no holy war there. There is an evil war. And we must always stand against the evil. Comrades, what type of government do we have in Israel that goes and bomb a hospital where people have run away for refugee, where people are sick, where children are there, where pregnant women are there, you bomb a hospital. And you say you are looking for Hamas, but you are killing innocent children. There is nothing wrong Hamas did. This folk tongues and people speaking in parables and we don't know what they are here, what they are saying, it's wrong. When you are oppressed, the only option you have is to fight. And that's what Hamas is doing. They are fighting for their freedom. Mandela did the same thing, took up the guns and fought for the freedom of the people of South Africa. When you are oppressed, you only have one option. Confront the enemy and shoot to kill. Do not kiss the enemy. Why do you want to kiss the enemy? People came, took the land of the Palestinians. Every year they extend their occupation. When you look at the map of Palestine, there is nothing left of land in Palestine. The people of Palestine have got nothing to lose but their chains. They must stand up and fight for their freedom and condemning Hamas it's an act of cowardice. I heard some fools saying we can't compare Hamas with Mandela and them. They are the same. This president of Areta carried guns. He was shooting to kill, to liberate you. He was doing exactly what Hamas is doing. Oh, Artambo did the same thing. Chris Hani did the same thing. Winnie Mandela did the same thing. Steve Pico did the same thing. There is nothing wrong Hamas is doing. But where did this ANC and MK get money to have guns, to have ammunition, to have food? The international progressive world gave them guns gave them food, gave them their camps, gave Cuba gave them doctors. They were called terrorists. 
like Hamas is called terrorists, but people did not see terrorists in them, they saw liberators. The EFF, when it takes over next year, is going to arm Hamas and make sure Hamas has got the necessary equipment to fight for their freedom. Netanyahu is a number one terrorist and he must be declared everywhere he goes he must never know peace because he's a number one world terrorist and the world must fight against terrorists a murderer a person who's committing genocide in Palestine in the name of attacking Hamas yet is attacking innocent women and children he says to them I'm giving you 24 hours to leave Gaza or else I'm coming in. As the people are walking out of Gaza, scared of Israel, he's shooting those innocent people. Yet he's the one who said, leave. When they are leaving, he's killing them. It can be that the people of South Africa who are beneficiaries of international solidarity sit back and allow this nonsense to go on we don't want apartheid israel and uh, when we say we don't want apartheid israel it must never be confused with the fact that we are saying we don't want the jews it's not true there are a lot of white people in south africa when we're fighting a white apartheid regime. One of them is here. He joined the struggle against white apartheid in South Africa. Yet he was white because he never saw that struggle as a struggle against white people. He saw it as a struggle to liberate the oppressed masses of our people. So where are the progressive Jews to stand up and say, we do not associate ourselves with Netanyahu? No one must go around saying, we are fighting with Jews, not in our name. We are not fighting with Jews, we are fighting with an apartheid Israel and it shall fall. It's just a matter of time before the illegitimate government of Israel falls. Comrades, we are not only going to arm Hamas, we are going to remove this embassy. Because we can't stay with murderers in the same area breathe the same air with people who kill innocent people. Don't listen to those who are here on Friday coming for PR. They've got the power to remove this nonsense behind this truck. They are not removing it. Why? They are getting money from the Israeli government. That's why they are scared of the Israeli government. Cyril Ramaphosa was made a president with the money donated to him by the Jewish people who are behind this Israeli embassy and the Israeli government. Those who gave Cyril money are the Jewish people who are not progressive, are Jewish people who want to perpetuate the apartheid Israel and the oppression of Palestine. That's why Cyril can't say anything. He went to the ANC, NEC, wear a scarf. Yes, says. Those Jewish people were like, where now? You wear a scarf with, Palestinian scarf, with our money. He had to issue a statement to explain himself. There is nothing to explain, even ourselves when we live here. We are not explaining anything to anyone. We make no apology for being here. Comrades, call to action. McDonald is giving the soldiers of Israel food in Israel. We want McDonald's South Africa to distance itself from what is happening in Israel. They've got until the end of this month to issue a statement 
distancing themselves from what McDonald is doing in Israel, giving murderers food to murder women and children. Comrades, Woolworths has got a responsibility by end of this month to remove every product on their shelves that comes from Israel. If they don't remove products from Israel, we'll go and remove them ourselves. We don't want any product of Israel sold here in South Africa. We don't want the food that comes from the people who have blood of innocent people on their hands. We are warning all those who are in business with Israel, we are coming for you because you are the ones who make that government to be what it is. If we engage in an international by court of all products that come from Israel, Israel will hear that now we have to respect the rights of Palestinians. Comrades, we must never get tired. We will come here as in one we feel like all the time. President of Putemo, these marches are very impactful. This is what liberated us. And this is what is going to liberate Palestine. We will always come here to remind these people that we don't want what's happening in Palestine. Comrades, the role of embassy is to collect intelligence for their countries. So all embassies of Israel in the world, when they file every day, there was a protest at the embassy. There was a protest at the embassy. One day, that government will listen because they will know that the world doesn't agree with what they are doing. Comrades, we must make sure that those who support Palestine, especially our brothers and sisters who believe that Palestine is under attack, must do the right thing all the time when we go to elections. We have Muslim communities who say, we support Palestine, we will always do everything in our power to support Palestine. But when the elections come, they vote for DA which support Israel. And they forget that it is this DA that gives these people power to continue with their nonsense. The Muslim communities in solidarity with the people of Palestine must vote for a government that will stand unashamedly with the people of Palestine. When elections come, our Muslim communities vote for the ANC, which has got power to remove this embassy, yet is not doing it because they are benefiting both sides. Comrades, this war of Palestine will never be won if our actions and our talk are not the same. We must always put our money where our mouth is. And that will be demonstrated next year. This nonsense of Israel can only be stopped if South Africa takes a position and say leave, the whole African continent will join, the whole progressive international world will join and say Palestine embassies must leave. So today, we have no memorandum. To give who memorandum? Because these people are not a government. These are thugs. These are terrorists here. And we can't legitimize the terrorists. We must never give them the respect that we give to the deputy ambassador of Palestine. These people here have got no respect for humanity and for life. Therefore, we must never 
find ourselves in any cooperation, none whatsoever, with the Israeli embassy. We are happy that the African Union refused to give Israel an observer status in the African Union. We don't want only that. We want a resolution of the African Union that says the embassies of Israel in the whole of Africa must go until the people of Palestine find their peace. So fight us by coming here is an act of sacrifice. You understand the pain of the children of Palestine. You are saying to the children of Palestine, your pain is our pain. You are saying to the children of Palestine, we will never enjoy our freedom as long as you don't enjoy freedom in Palestine. We are not free here as long as Palestine is not free. So comrades, you did not come because you are bored. You came because you understand the mission. That the mission is a total liberation of the oppressed all over the world. And that mission must continue. We thank the leadership of Kauteng. We thank all progressive forces that organized this gathering today. It's not the last one. As long as our children are being killed in Palestine, this place will become our permanent residence. Because we must never allow them to forget, not even for a second, that they are murderers. Comrades, start identifying where Woolworths is found. Start identifying where McDonald is found. Very soon action will be announced to go to those who support apartheid Israel. We are saying, Woolworths, huh? you are here. You see, uh, President of uh, Areta, these ones of mine, they can't afford Woolworths. That's why I can't say to them they must not buy Woolworths. Because in any way, they don't buy it. I'm talking to you, the elite. Yeah? When you arrive home, just check in the fridge. Anything that looks like an apartheid, Israel, remove it from the fridge. Don't even give it to the dogs. Because even our dogs don't deserve to eat anything from Israel. All of you who are watching from home, everywhere in South Africa, by God, the products of Israel. Anything that is from Israel, don't buy it in South Africa because by buying it, you are supporting the killing of our people in Palestine. Let us not just talk, let there be action so that the regime of Israel, of Netanyahu, will know that international community means business. Comrades, President of the Student Command has made it very clear. All EFF-led SRC and institutions of higher learning, we are, we are cutting any academic relationship with any institution in Israel. Anything that has got to do with Israel, we don't want in our institutions of higher learning. We are not saying we don't want Jews. Because you are going to live here and say, hey, they said Jewish people must go. No. We are not talking about Jewish people. We are saying any institutionalized relationship with the university and any institution from Israel, they must cut that with immediate effect. We don't want anything to do with Israel. Comrades, Let's go and make sure that our people appreciate and understand the pain of the children of Palestine. Let us educate our people and make them aware that those people are going through what we went through here in South Africa. Fighters, don't get tired. Continue to support Swaziland. Continue to support Western Sahara. Continue to support Cuba against the embargo imposed on them by America. We must make sure 
all of the oppressed world is supported because we are product of their support. You are making the whole continent very proud that at least there are people somewhere in Africa who are standing up and supporting the people of Palestine. We are going to buy court every product of Israel, even the ones that are not mentioned. From now onwards, we are collecting intelligence on where products of Israel are being sold. And we need to visit them and tell them, you've got until end of this month to remove everything of Israel from the shelf or else we'll remove it for you because you are supporting murderers. So, fighters, thank you very much for the discipline. When you go back, maintain discipline. We are not going to leave now because we have nothing to do today. Today we are Palestine. So we are going to sit here and then we'll close at half past four. We play music here. Make noise for these ones. And for their neighbors as well. So that their neighbors can remind them, why are you not going home because you are causing us trouble here? So, relax. You've got the freedom of the city. So the EFF is in charge of the streets now. So let's all not be in a hurry to leave. Because that's what they want. They want us to go. Those who can afford to buy water, neighbors who can bring a horse pipe, please bring it out. Let's drink water. Those who can supply water, whatever uh, you have, please let's share. Because in the EFF we share. So let's make sure everyone is sorted here and no one feels left out. At the right time, the leadership will... Oh, actually bringing you visuals from EFF leader Julius Malema addressing his supporters and followers outside the Israeli embassy in Pretoria. He's calling for Woolworths to remove products from Israel by the end of the month, saying that if they don't do that, the EFF will do it for them. And also seemingly calling for a boycott of McDonald's.